Over the past 15 years of my career, I've learned how to actually 10X, 20X, and 30X my income as a graphic designer. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that step-by-step, -step, how to 10X your income and go from making $10 an hour or less, depending on what part of the country you're in or the world that you're in, to over $100 an hour. So stick with me. Today, we're gonna to go deep, so get a pen and paper. So when I got started as a creative, I was only making about $10 an hour designing club fires, but I was doing something that I really loved and I was so happy that I just got to do that. Now keep in mind, this also was in 2006 and $10 went a lot further back then. Over the years, I've not only sharpened my design skills, but even more importantly, my sales and my marketing skills. You need to first understand hourly versus flat rate. I want you to break the time barrier and stop selling time. Your time is not something that you can get more of. You can't create more of it like you can money. There is no limitations to money, but there is a lot of limitations to time. I want you to follow the demand. A lot of you guys out there are selling things and pushing things that there's not a lot of demand for. Some good examples of that would be websites. Good examples of that could be business cards. Good examples of that could be NFTs right now, with as popular as NFTs are. What is going to drive them in the door and get them to come to you and learn about your business? The next part is to productize your service offering. You need to actually package this up and make this look like a real product. Give it its own unique name, its own design, its own messaging, its own strategy. It requires a lot of time and effort, but it allows you to position yourself uniquely and lets you name your own price. The next part you'll need for this is to package and create a pitch deck. You can do this in Google Slides, you can do this in PowerPoint, there's a lot of different ways to do it, but you wanna create visual aids and tell a story that you can walk your clients through on this experience, and then you're gonna translate that story across your website, across your marketing materials, and you're gonna repeat it over and over and over again. Why is this package different? Why is it important? And how did you come up with it? These are important things that you need to incorporate into your pitch deck. And in those pitch decks, you need to really make them understand that you are good at what you're doing. So putting social proof, putting things in there that actually prove that you are a high quality provider. The next part is making your offer irresistible. As Russell Brunson likes to say, 10X value. You need to have a loss leader. One of my loss leaders that I had in the beginning of my career was when I had my graphic design and printing business. After I stopped doing the nightclub flyers, I opened up California Printing. My loss leader was business cards. Everybody had business cards. Everybody needed business cards. And that's the way I got everybody in the door by creating an irresistible offer. At that time, when business cards for a thousand would cost hundred to $150, I was offering them for 50 and then another 50 for the design. So I was offering a really irresistible deal and I put that on signs. I put that, it was a price led offer, but that also brought in some lower quality clients. I had a lot of riffraff, a lot of kind of time wasters. So that leads me to my first question that I have for you. Are you charging your clients hourly or on a flat rate? I'd like to know, drop a comment down below. Let me know if you're doing hourly rate or flat rate and what you're gonna be doing going forward. Are you gonna be switching? Let me know down in the comments. The second aspect to this is learning how to solve bigger problems and even for bigger brands. The smaller the problem you solve for a business, the less you're going to get paid. Because I was only getting somebody business cards and they could have done it online at that time even, and they can go to other print shops and it was really easy to find somebody to do business cards, I couldn't charge a lot for that but it was a good loss leader. It led me to sign work and website work and marketing work and all kinds of other stuff that I did at that time. You wanna take this into consideration and if you look at bigger businesses like a mortgage company, they're gonna have multiple loan officers and so it's not just gonna be one business card, it's gonna be multiple business cards and then you're gonna be able to upsell and make more money on the printing and then you can offer packages and say, hey, I'll give you a package deal of 10 sets of business cards with 10 designs and a thousand business cards a piece and it's gonna be X amount and you can make way more money that way. As I mentioned before, at the beginning of my career, I started selling club flyers and designing club flyers for nightlife businesses and restaurants and things like that. Now, fast forward 15 years later, I develop brands and I sell brands, but more importantly, I sell a desired outcome. And that is what you need to start thinking about is what is the outcome that you're providing for these target clients. If you don't know who your dream client is, that is the first thing you need to identify. What is the outcome you're going to give them? The other way to do this and the second part is to solve problems for bigger brands, getting better clients who pay more money. A good example of that would be a carpet cleaner who charges $79 to maybe $150, $200, $300 for carpet cleaning 
versus a contractor who's gonna charge high ticket of $10,000 and more. They can afford to spend a lot more with you because they have a lot more meat on the bone versus the carpet cleaner has to do 10 times the amount of jobs to try to make the same amount of money. The next thing to consider is what can you sell them? What is the next step on their journey as a business owner? What can you help them solve? What bigger problem or what bigger sale can you make? Business cards equaled printing. Websites equaled traffic. And marketing equaled contents and ads and video production. So I was able to increase the lifetime value of my clients over time and make a lot more money doing it that way. When I was just selling business cards and printing, my average client was probably only worth a few hundred dollars to me. As I started selling websites, now it became in the thousands. As I started developing brands and started developing marketing plans, now it's hundreds of thousands of dollars. See where I'm going with this? This is really important. The last aspect of this is you need an abundance of work by making more offers. The only way you're gonna get yourself to over $100 an hour is by having so many people interested in working with you that you're turning down jobs. And it's okay to say no, it's okay to turn down projects, it's okay to walk away from money when the deal isn't in your best interest. Let me say that again. It's okay to say no when the deal is not in your best interest. You need to take this seriously. Sometimes you just wanna take the deal because you need the money right now. That is going from a place of lack and a place of scarcity. You need to be operating from a place of abundance. The next aspect of this is you're going to need some sort of selling mechanism besides just yourself. So I want you to think about building some sort of a funnel, running ads to that funnel. So you take one of your offers, you take one of the things that you've packaged up and you build a funnel around it. You document your process, you create all the steps that you need to build a funnel with that irresistible offer. And when you run traffic to it, it does a lot of the work for you where you just end up with appointments on your calendar that you can close or you can go hire somebody else to close for you and now you've got an automated sales machine if you need to get an influx of capital and money moving quickly sending direct messages or dms on social media like facebook linkedin instagram youtube and offering some sort of value up front is a really really good way to do that i've done mock-ups i've done video analysis of people's websites i've created visual aids i've done renders of videos you can showcase your skills to them. You can look at their page and examine and look for problems and issues and things and just add value to people's lives. And this is gonna help you actually get a lot more results a lot faster because people are very responsive to DMs on social media, but you have to be consistent and you're gonna have to follow up. The average sale happens between the eighth and the 10th follow-up. The last and one of the most critical components to this is tracking your progress in a spreadsheet every single day. You have three phases to your client's journey. First, their prospects, then their leads, and then they become clients. And so you need to track that progress all the way throughout. How many prospects did you get into your funnel? How many of those became leads? And how many of those did you close? You need to track this metric so that you can scale this metric and grow your business overall. So this is the method and this is the formula that I've used over the last 15 years and things that I've learned the hard way to grow my business from making $10 an hour doing flyer design to over $100 an hour and building brands, world-changing companies. If you have any questions in this video, if you need some help, or you just need some guidance or mentorship, I am here to support you. Maybe it's helping you find your niche, craft your offer, or maybe develop a proven marketing strategy. I'm available to work with one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting. Just go to my brand new website, adrianboysell.com, and I'd love to hear from you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Adrian Boysell. Until next time, keep looking up.